So yesterday I went to Washington DC to take part in the Solidarity with Israel rally. I went to represent Temple Kilat Chaim. also went for myself as well to be there. It was an unbelievable experience uh, just being with lots of different people. I've got lots of pictures that I want to show everybody. I also spoke to some people there about why they were there. Uh, some of their answers might or might not be surprising, um, but there were almost 300,000 people there. That was the official count. Um, and it was a wide, diverse group of people, uh, people from different backgrounds, different parts of the country, uh, different faiths as well, um, not just Jews. And uh, people came there, I think, you know, different people came for different reasons. Uh, the stated purpose was to, to show support for the people in Israel who were attacked on October 7th, um, also to call for the release of hostages that were captured by Hamas. Uh, for me personally, one of the most moving parts of the rally was hearing from family members of people taken captive by Hamas. And uh, it really kind of put a human face on everything. It really, um, it really connected kind of events happening an ocean and a continent away um, to real people and what they're going through. It was heartbreaking, it was moving, um, it was powerful as well. Uh, and then, uh, in addition to all that, taking a stand against anti-Semitism, which is rising in America, it was already at high levels before October 7th, and since then, it's, uh, it's only gotten worse. Uh, so people were there for all of those reasons and above. I told you, uh, for me, one of the really powerful parts was hearing from hostage families. Uh, one thing I do want to say, this was definitely a pro-Israel rally. It was there to show support for Israel. That's why I was there. Um, but one of the things that I heard from different speakers over and over again um, was a call to recognize the humanity of all the people who are involved. Uh, that includes uh, Israelis, it also includes innocent Palestinian civilians. Because really, um, this is the latest outbreak in a fight that's been going on for a long time with a long history. And the human toll of it all on both Israelis and Palestinians uh, is mind-boggling. And there was support for Israel. Um, there was a lot of condemnation of Hamas, but really there is a desire um, above all of it uh, that one day maybe, maybe there could be peace. Uh, that seems like so much to ask for, so distant um, considering the long history. Um, but really, um, what else could anyone be fighting for? Could anyone be hoping for, but to live their life in peace? Um, and certainly I, I heard, you know, that being an aspiration for Israel, um, certainly an aspiration for a lot of people who are living there, uh, is to live what we would think of as a normal life. Um, but that normal life has been elusive for too many people for a really long time, especially since October 7th. Uh, so I went there to, to represent TKC, to also be part of it. It was something amazing to be part of a, a crowd of almost 300,000 people. That's not an experience I've had a lot of. I'm not really the sort to go join marches and whatnot. Not that I don't have my opinions and my moral support to various things, but uh, I, I typically don't join marches, but uh, I felt called to be a part of this group. And I've heard that uh, this was the single largest pro-Israel rally in the history of the United States. And uh, I certainly believed it while I was there. Um, there's a lot going on. It's been hard for Israel, for innocent Palestinians, for families of the hostages, of course, the hostages themselves, um, but really anybody who cares about that region. Um, it's been a hard several weeks, more than a month now and uh, coming together, being together. Um, I know it certainly meant a lot for the people who were there. Hopefully it means a lot to people in the region as well, to know that people uh, care about them and are thinking about them. Um, I'm gonna show, I've been showing, uh, as you're listening to my voice, uh, some of the pictures. Uh, I'm also going to show some clips. I met with a few, I met a lot of people there, but uh, a few of them I asked if they wouldn't mind sharing with me why they attended the rally. I'm going to share their responses. Uh, also some video clips from from the uh, 
rally itself. I've got a little bit of clips uh, from some of the speakers as well uh, so that you can get a sense of what it was like to be there. Um, I'm honored to have attended. Um, so glad to be back. Um, feel free, if you'd like, to leave any comments uh, below. Uh, just ask that uh, they be civil and respectful. Thank you. Ready. Hi, I'm a local, and we're here with members of our shul. We're here to be counted, to speak out for those who need to be brought home, and to show our love and support for Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Ben Zeidman, El Paso, Texas. And I made the trip on behalf of my community to remind the entire world of the hostages that are being held and the need to bring them home and uh, to remind our politicians here in Washington uh, that that is uh, utmost priority, top priority here, as well as the fight against anti-Semitism here and abroad. Hi, I'm Rabbi Jake Singer Bielen. I live in Washington, D.C. and I'm the rabbi for Beit Mishpacha, which is D.C.'s LGBTQ plus congregation. And I'm here to represent a voice that I think needs to be heard at this rally. Uh, a voice that stands up for queer rights, which Israel certainly stands for, and a voice that says that Israel can live up to my Jewish values and to our Jewish values, and that we actually demand Israel to do that. So that's why I'm here. I'm Rachel Ackerman. I'm a rabbi at Temple Shalom in Chase, and I live in Washington, D.C., and I am here today um, to hopefully amplify some of the more progressive voices in support of Israel um, that are deeply concerned about what is happening, wanting to bring the hospital home, but also um, wanting a more peaceful existence for the Palestinian people and the Israeli people in the long term. I am speaking to you from the single most sacred time in the Jewish world, the Kotel, the Western Wall in Jerusalem. The Kotel that reminds us that Am Israel, we, the people of Israel, are eternal and no one will break us. <laughs> from the Jewish symbol of fulfillment of our ancient dreams, to the American symbols of freedom, liberty, and democracy. Israel, we in America have your back. America feels your pain. We ache with you. We stand with you. And we will not rest until you get all the assistance you need. Good afternoon. My name is Orna Neutra, and I am Omer's mom. Omer, born one month after 9-11, celebrated his 22nd birthday only a few weeks ago, captive by Hamas. Omer is a warm, optimistic and people-loving person. Everywhere he goes, he immediately makes new friends. He is this big guy, six foot two, always with a smile on his face. The rally is just finishing up. It's actually officially been over for almost an hour now, but people are still here. There's still some speakers going on. Everybody's spoken about different things, uh, each in their own way, but really there's um, been a real sense of, um, of care about Israelis, especially hostages, their families, people who are still in harm's way. Um, it's a diverse crowd, people with a lot of different backgrounds, even a lot of different political views are gathering together um, because, uh, because the last month, over a month, um, a lot of Jews, Israelis, um, but really Jews around the world, um, this is where their hearts have been, our hearts have been. Um, it's certainly how I feel uh, as well. I think it was important for me to come here, important for a lot of other people to come here too, um, to show up, uh, 
to show that care and concern. It's not just the people speaking, it's really the entire crowd. And uh, I don't know what the exact numbers were. People were saying anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000. It'll come out later, I'm sure. But it's a lot of people, wall to wall people all over the National Mall uh, gathered together. I saw people from all over the country. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of us flew in this morning. A lot of them are leaving later today or first thing tomorrow morning. Um, but in terms of this march, I'd say it's mission accomplished. Um, just an overwhelming amount of uh, support, an overwhelming amount of uh, care for, for Israel. Uh,